and go to the qualification, fall count anywhere match. The only way to win is by using a finishing move. Each competitor is allowed two finishing moves that are used to end the match. We are going to see ourselves a finisher match here on Aftermath. And as Miss Moody Star said, tonight is the biggest main event in Aftermath history. A WAW Hall of Fame challenge with the WAW Championship on the line. Effo will defend the championship against Gino Diomedes. Sick, dirty dealer, Sin, and the Jersey Devil here tonight. Sin will be having his first match since Legacy 2007, where he said, I quit to FO. And Sick will be making his first WAW appearance in well over a year. What a blockbuster main event we have for you tonight. What a blockbuster way to start things off this week here on Aftermath with Joey Staples and freaking Flax in a finisher match. And now here comes the opponent of Joey Staples. It is the go with the most, freaking Flax. Joey Staples has the cradle free fall in the clothesline from Southie. Freaking Flax has the toss salad and the figure Flax. He does a flip over the speaker. Coming out, the fans love him. He's got something stuffed in his pants. That's nothing new for freaking Flax. Both of these men are going to look to hit their respective finishers here tonight. That is the only way to win. There are no pinfalls, there are no submissions, there are no countouts, and there are no disqualifications. And the finisher can be hit anywhere around the ring, in the ring, in the locker room, in the bathroom, outside. It doesn't matter. As long as you hit your finisher, you win the match. Both men circle in the ring now. Here we go in the center. Collar and elbow tie up. Freaking Flax goes over into an arm bar. Going for that toss salad already. Joey Staples gets out of it. He's got a wrist lock on freaking Flax. He's trying for the cradle free fall. We're just seconds in. And both men have tried for their finishers already. Joey Staples throws freaking Flax over the back. Freaking Flax trying for a panting, but instead went for a Flax. And if he hit it, tried for the Flax Master. That wouldn't account for him. Gold Rush! Joey Staples hitting the Gold Rush there on freaking Flax. Staples now going for another one. No, he's not going for the back suplex on that one. We've got one hell of a night of action here tonight on Aftermath. We're going to see a sudden death coming up next with Paul Clement, Mr. Happy, and Katie Doobie. Wait a second, we got ourselves another cradle free fall, but no. Freaking Flax lands on top. We're also going to see Sergeant Charles Hatchet do battle with Smokey. We're going to see Rocco against Jay Chill. Wait a second, here we go. Toss salad, no. Staples has him up in the air. Freaking Flax hits the top and ends up hanging himself. He tried to stop it, hung himself on the top rope. Swinging neck breaker there by Freaking Flax. Drops down bulletproof Joey Staples. We got what a way, Bob. There we go. An Ole bomb from freaking Flax. The reversal lay bomb. And a reversal lay bomb to complement the Ole bomb. Also tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable monster Grim will be in action. We will see Kevin Chaos and Sage Zarello in WAW's first ever hog tie match. We will see Major Morpheus Morenzi against JT Lambo, and of course our main event, six man tag in Hall of Fame challenge for the WAW Championship. We almost saw a toss, uh, a cradle free fall, excuse me, on that exchange, but freaking Blacks managed to reverse out into a DDT. Both men have made numerous attempts for their finishers. 
Neither man has been successful thus far. Right from the opening bell, seconds in, each man had attempted one finisher, and that is the object of the match. It's not surprising to see many failed finishers in this type of contest, because that's generally what both men are going to go for, or it, should it be the case that a woman is involved, both participants. Freaking Flax with a drop kick there. Flax now backing off into a corner, charging up, running, and he gets thrown up and over the top rope onto the ring apron, blocks a punch, and hits Joey Staples right in the jaw. Flax now has Staples, and oh, freaking Flax hits the metal turnbuckle chest first. What is Staples going to go for here out of the corner? Oh, and Joey Staples gets shoved down. Freaking Flax now up on the top rope. Or now he's on the middle rope. Or now he's going up to the top rope. Halfway on each. And he hits a senton bomb. Off the top. Well, half the top, half the middle. I'm not sure if that's what he intended for, but that's what happened. Going for the toss salad. This one could be over. Oh, we get a low blow. Two low blows. Three low blows. That is all legal here in this finisher match. Wait a second. Chino Diomedes with a spear on freaking Flax. And a headstone. Chino Diomedes must not have forgotten the pantsing a few weeks ago. we got here? Toss Sally by Joey Staples. If this were an armed robbery match, he'd have this one won. Now he's bringing Flax over to the corner, hoisting him up on the top rope. Flax crotching across that top turnbuckle pad. And it looks like he's got some of the metal going up his, uh, his rear, but I'm sure Flax enjoys that one. Staples trying to set up here. He's going to go for that cradle free fall off the top here. He's got the foot hooked. And cradle free fall off the, the top rope. Not the prettiest cradle free fall in the world, but it got the job done as Joey Staples picks up yet another victory over freaking Flex. I believe to my knowledge, that's uh, that's three weeks in a row. Joey Staples is uh, besting freaking Flax here. The week after Hellbound, they had a one-on-one. -on -one. He defeated freaking Flax. In the sudden death last week, he picked up the pinfall over Flax. And here tonight, Joey Staples picks up the win in the finisher match. Coming up next is our sudden death.